Welcome to another episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw. I'm your host, Dr. Jim Stepani. One of the most frequent questions I get asked these days is, Jim, what's the best way to develop huge traps? My answer to that is, but seriously, is my answer. After all, you can't develop big traps without shrugging. And while you can't beat the barbell shrug for developing huge traps, there are some problems with this exercise. The most critical problem with the barbell shrug is the fact that certain body parts get in the way when you shrug the barbell up to hip height, if you know what I mean. That's why the dumbbell shrug is another good shrug variation, because it keeps the dumbbells to the sides of your thighs. But even dumbbell shrugs can be a little bit awkward to do. And some gyms just don't have heavy enough dumbbells to really stimulate adequate trap growth. Don't worry, I have a few tricks up my sleeves when it comes to developing huge traps. One trick I use a lot these days is an exercise I call the one arm Smith machine shrug. It's easy to do and you can really load up the weight. Let's head over to the Body Solid Smith Machine so I can show you how it's done. To perform the one arm Smith Machine Shrug, load the bar of a Smith Machine and stand in the middle of the apparatus with your right side facing the bar. Grab the bar in the middle with your right hand and shrug your shoulder up as high as possible while keeping your arm as straight as you can. Then lower the bar back down to get a full stretch. I suggest you use an open grip where your thumb does not wrap around the bar. This prevents your thumb from getting caught on your clothes and allows you to keep the bar closer to your body as you shrug it up. This helps to maximize the range of motion on this exercise for better trap development. When you finish all reps on one side, switch to the other arm and perform the exercise in the same way. I suggest you start your traps workout with about three sets of the standard barbell shrug or three sets of standard shrugs in the Smith machine. Then finish with about three sets of the one arm Smith machine shrug. Or if you're short on time but don't want to be short on trap development, just do four to six sets of the one arm Smith Machine Shrug without stopping. By that I mean go from right arm to left arm to right arm to left arm to right arm to left arm to right arm to left arm all without stopping until you've completed four to six sets for each arm. You'll get just enough rest with each arm while the other arm is working. It's quick, brutal, and very effective. Trust me. Before I go, just one quick note about training your traps. I know that many of you are confused about whether you should train your traps with shoulders or back. But before I give you my answer, let's take a quick look at the anatomy of the traps. The trapezius muscle, or traps, is a large diamond-shaped muscle on the back and shoulders. It is composed of three sections. The upper traps, seen here, are used to raise the shoulders, such as when you perform shrugs, like the one-arm Smith Machine Shrug. The middle traps, seen here, are used to pull the shoulder blades together, such as during rows. And the lower traps, seen here, which pull the shoulder blades down, such as during pull-downs. I prefer to work the upper traps by doing shrugs after shoulders. That's because the traps assist on many shoulder exercises, such as shoulder presses, lateral raises, and upright rows. I often do exercises to target the middle and lower traps after I train back. That's because this area of the traps 
are often involved in many back exercises such as rows, pull downs, and straight arm pull downs. What are some good middle and lower trap exercises? I'll have to save that for another episode. So be sure to use the one arm Smith Machine Shrug the next time you train traps. And as always, be sure to look for more great tips like this in other episodes of Muscle and Fitness Raw right here at MuscleAndFitness.com.